Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Apologies for starting in loading screen. I actually forgot to start recording. I was just talking to the stream and got distracted. Uh, but yeah, I just thought we'd start here now and let's go into uh, the loading screen uh, to show the stats. And we're also in game. Ah, so pause the video if you want to see it in more detail. But just to explain, I think a basic mistake happened. Thresh has got teleport and grass the undying. So potentially he played something last game and didn't change his runes and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of that, pause it. If not, let's get into the game. So we're playing Malzahar again. I know some people are a bit on the fence about him. The basic principle is I blind picked. Uh, the enemy mid laner was their last pick. So I don't know why. Um, I, I don't know who I was against. So Malzahar is relatively safe. But the Twitch chat has told me that... Uh, Apparently, Cassidin is very strong at the moment. We don't know how many of them. They're all in there. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, no, there are some cringy people that have like the L9 or whatever. The, the really cringy man baby people. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I presume no one in my audience the finds those people prize. interesting at all. I just find them the most cringy people. But anyway, uh, Ni Z Ras, just subscribe. Thanks, man. Welcome, welcome. Okay, that was a weird attempted invade because they, they invaded without Thresh, by the way, who is, you know, a lot of the reason. You know, the reason um, why you invade, like his hook, and they didn't actually have him with them. So that's a bit weird. Uh, but I guess, like, if I had to guess who wanted to invade, I'm going to say the Draven. Dravens are always crazy aggro. Yeah, L9 or something, like, they're a group of, like, you know, teenagers and, you know, younger adults who are, like, really cringy people who make multiple accounts and boost people and like being toxic like i don't know i just find it really sad like it's the type of thing that when you're like you know in 10 years time i'm hoping they'll look back and kind of go god i was an awful person but they probably won't because it's just quality a person nice damage i really could do oh, i shouldn't have stopped Really could do with level three. Did Pantheon get that, by the way? That was a really good silence, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I think they have like I don't like I don't even think they're content creators or anything and or they, they might be or they got banned off Twitch or something like they're just not good people. But I guess the only people that like them are like people that are similar than to them, right? That kind of makes sense. Toxic prize. individuals tend to attract other toxic individuals because it makes them feel more normal. Uh JM Uit, thanks very much, man. But yeah, like, if you're a toxic person and you watch somebody who's not toxic, it makes you as a toxic person stand out more. But if you are toxic and you watch toxic people, well, then it's just normal, right? You're kind of like, well, they're toxic. I'm toxic. Ta-da! That's why, like, you get certain communities, not just in League, but in general in content creation, that are just toxic communities. The, the content creator's toxic. The community's toxic. And the reason why is because the, the audience watches them because it makes the audience feel normal about being toxic. Uh, and that's also why, you know, when you have like the, the Paul brothers and that, that's why their audiences tend to be really cringy. It's because they're cringy. Um, so yeah, it's the, it's the basic premise really of content creation. People try to watch people who are kind of similar to them because it makes them feel like not different. Nice, that hit him. 
Bom, 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 bom. Oh, just as an announcement, by the way, because I didn't have time to do it before holiday. All the t-shirt stuff that was supposed to be done a while back. Uh, apologies, it wasn't done earlier, but that will be done in like the next week or so. Uh, I have chosen who's basically won. Uh, we're probably going to be trying to do about two or three shirt designs. So that means two or three people are going to be sent stuff. Um... Got his damage. Damn, I shouldn't have flashed then. I thought we'd have a bit more damage, but nah. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing two or three t-shirts. Okay, surviving that was good. Uh, so he can take that farm, which isn't bad. Oh, he went... I was wondering why this guy was so quick. He's got mobility boots. Ah, uh, that warrior couldn't have got to me. A fitting prize. If he... Like, the only way he, he could have got to me would basically be trying to hug this, and he would have got hit by tower, which would have got rid of his movement speed and stuff, so there was no way he would have got to me in time. Oh, Warwick's top. Again, they've got to be careful of that 2v2, surprisingly. Because you have to argue that Teemo obviously does more damage than a, Mal's, um, a Maokai. Might be dead. Holy Jesus. He does that by the way, that guy does a lot of damage. Go Pantheon, give me an assist. Let's go, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest, that would like that's borderline tilting for that Cassadin. I survive on very little health and then he gets killed and I get an assist. <laughs> I don't even remember. Did I go um, nah, I didn't go with the shield. I went mana flow. Also, bot lane's going really well, kinda. Like, Trista's died once earlier, but Brand's got two kills. Both on the Thresh, unfortunately, not on the Draven. But you have to remember, the Thresh has got Grasp the Undying and Teleport. So really, in the 2v2, my bot lane should have advantage in lane. Because, you know, why, you know, Grasp isn't really going to do much for a Thresh, nor is Teleport when you're actually fighting people. That hit him? Wait, have they changed Malzahar or something? Because, like, that... It feels like the dot is a lot more willing to jump onto people at higher range. Again, I've played a decent amount of Malzahar to kind of have a feeling for it. What's happened in bot lane, by the way? Like, she was complimenting him. And now it's kind of turned into being toxic. Who knows? Pantheon's jumping on top of them. There's a control ward behind me. Nice. Nice. Again, again, I don't really like Pantheon as a champion. I, I'm sure people know this. But if you are somebody that does play Pantheon, just as basic advice, 95% of the time you should always be using your ultimate in bot lane. Uh, I've said it before, you're doubling your chances of getting a kill when you're always ganking a lane that has two people in it. If you go mid lane, um, then there's only one person. If you go top, there's only one person. Bot lane has two people. So you are basically doubling the chance of getting something uh, when you're using ult and bot. And you, you know, it's AoE, so you could actually hit two people with your ultimate and voila. Did we get first blood tower? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Nice. He takes very little damage. The reason why he takes very little damage, by the way, is because he got his Q off before my combo. So the beginning of my ultimate is not doing any damage to him. It's simply burning the magic shield off. 
So that's why it's pretty damn effective. It's like, oh, okay. Okay, Infernal's coming up really soon. Do you want me to stay? Make it look normal. Really good kill. I mean, I will say I'm actually hitting quite nice silences, if I do say so myself. Pretty happy with how my silences are going. Malachi should ult now. Because then you get the Draven. Lovely. And by the way, our brand is holding off a team up. I'm hoping he just doesn't die. But it looks like he's going to die. Unless he can get that stun. So that brand dying there wasn't great, to be honest. Uh... Pretty good. Would it be nice if I was level... Oh, that Cassidy is playing. Wait, whoa, that Trisana jump. Oh, she mucked that up. That was so bad. Why did she back off so much when she had Pantheon was... Unless she thought Pantheon was an enemy? I don't know. That was less than one auto attack from death. That sucks for us. You can't position like that and think you're going to get away with it, Thresh. There is no way I'm letting you live when you do that. There we go. That's some more confidence. There. Yeah, that's better. Like, the difference of... If you can just see, the difference between the confidence levels of here, she jumped away from a free kill, to there, going in under a tower. Like, it's like different players. Like obviously, the brand is saying it in a bit more of a um, a different way. Uh, but, I, you know, it's good to see more confidence in that regard. Thank you. That is a very squishy thrush, by the way. If I get E and a Q on him, he's dead. What are you doing? Kind of looks like this guy might be typing. Type raging. Uh, what do I think the best Malzahar skin is? This one. I like this one. I think it's called Battle Boss. I always think it's Arcade, but it's not. That jumps, man. It, it really feels like they've changed it. Oh. Oh. Why are they? Why do we have three people top lane? This is a weird game. <laughs> it, like I don't get what's going on. Our jungler was holding bot lane by himself our Maokai was with our bot lane top I don't know what's going on okay there's a Warwick over there but it'd be a little bit oh yeah he's got very little health <laughs> I was like can I be sneaky no I can't be sneaky like that Cassidin is playing really bad. Oh, this is typical Draven. He's running it down. What is... What's happening to Solo queue? Guys, since I've been gone, has something, like, really weird happened? But, like, that that's just a typical Draven who's losing a game. Like, just 
and into... Again, I don't know what it's about Draven that attracts that type of community, but it is like what we spoke about earlier, if you guys remember. Like, again, there is a very... Uh, there's a very big example of a certain Draven player. Let's say he's got a little bit better over time, but, you know, very popular and does that type of thing, or used to at least. And again, the reason why Draven was so known for it is because a lot of people try to mimic that person. And it's like... Uh... And again, now he flashes away. Like, what? To Bran just like, die. This is such a weird game. I'm really fed. I just noticed. I kind of want to go back. I've got 3,000 gold. Oh, I don't want to die. Pantheon should get him. My bad. I've got no mana. That caster didn't really want me, by the way. I'm presuming that there's no shrooms in this lane because Teemo has not been bot main. A fitting prize. They're fine, they don't need me. Uh, Brute Looter, thanks very much, dude. Nine months in a row. Thanks very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Okay, nearly got 4,000 gold, by the way. Wow. Uh, boom. <laughs> that purchase. Holy moly. Let's see what happens if I do this. Will the, will the Draven stand his ground and just die to me for free? Yeah. That's the answer to that question. I hate when people try like that. Like, again, I'm going to upload it because it's worth showing. Uh, one, people like I have fun, good games. Um, you know, I am i don't really like uploading stop losses, but stop wins are a little bit different because at least they're, they are a happy tone. Um, but it's also an important lesson to show that these games happen in Diamond. So if you're a, a lower rated individual who thinks you're above, like, losing in stomps, well, you're not. Challenger players stomp and get stomped as well. And diamond they do too. Uh, but yeah, we are we are really, really fed. Again, Malzahar, good choice. More basic. I'm getting easing myself back into the game. And uh, I don't want to play anything kind of crazy mechanical. Really. Until like I'm kind of warmed back up. That was really close. What's he doing? He must be trolling. Yeah, very nice game. I'm happy. Oh, there was a Cassidy behind us. So just to point out, 071907. Like, I, I'm going to say it. I normally would never say it, but I actually do feel sorry for the Teemo. Like, I don't because he picked Teemo. But he isn't playing bad enough to, like, warrant this defeat. Am I dead? Nope, I leveled up. Oh my god, I can't believe I- I don't- I really don't want to die, guys! I don't want to die, but I really want to- I still need to get involved, because I'm really fed. Uh, thanks so much for the 100 bits, Burzy RC. Thank you. We're so fed. Again, um, 
pointing out something that some people uh, still to this day comment on YouTube videos. A lot of people will say when you're on the tower, uh, this pop potions. It's a myth. They don't actually do anything. You can't actually have a potion while you're on God Tower. You saw that I was popping it. It disappeared straight away. So I just thought I'd kind of say that in the video because I, I don't think I've ever mentioned it before. But yeah, it doesn't actually work. Um, so that's why you don't see people popping stuff on the God Tower. That was a Draven ult. I will say I am a little bit surprised that the enemy team hasn't surrendered. Because uh, it does seem that type of game that they would surrender having 0 8 1 10 0 7. I'm just saying. Uh, but I do... like They got rid of the ability to see if a failed surrender vote happens on the enemy team, I believe. So we can't even see if they want to surrender. Oh. Well, now they did. We got one last kill uh, before the game ended. Um, so that was cool. All right, so uh, I can't. I, I don't remember what, how many kills we landed at the end of the game. So we'll check. Who will, I'll give it to the Pantheon. He got me snowballing at the beginning of uh, the game, so that was really good by him. Uh, so we gained sixteen, which isn't that much. So that's a bit of a bummer. But we go eight zero eleven hundred and seventy farm, which is also the most farm in the game. We get a solid S, and then damage done. We do the most damage. So overall, like you pretty much can call this the perfect Malzahar game. When you actually add it all up, we don't die. We go 808. We go legendary. We get the most farm in the game. You get an S. And we do the most damage. Like, it was just a perfect game of solo queue. Um, so that that's pretty legit. On the damage-wise, by the way, look at the, 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 the Warwick's damage. That guy had a really bad game. Um, which, again, we all have bad games. You just can't let them get that bad. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, though. Again... Hopefully, you know, it's a bit of difference in commentary. Um, you know, I'm a bit more upbeat. I kind of feel it in myself, uh, even in the losses and stuff. Uh, but that's probably going to be me done in this little recording session. We played three games today. It's the last three episodes you saw. Two wins, one loss. So I'm pretty actually happy about that. Um, if we keep that up, you know, that's a 66% win rate. And then we'll climb. Like, it's that simple. So hopefully, we'll keep doing, going with that. If you guys are enjoying the video, throw a like on them. Let me know in the comments what champions you want to see in the upcoming couple of weeks. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.